So recently I've been doing some chipping, some short game practice here at the Grand, and I found the secret, I found the secret to great chipping. Not quite the secret, but something that I discovered that was really helpful to me, and I've been working at this over the last couple of weeks, and it's made a massive difference. So we thought, let's do a video for you, share with you some of the thoughts and feelings and some of the things that I'm working on that's helping my short game to hopefully help you and share a drill as well. We're here on the short game area here at the Grand Piers. is on camera. We're gonna do loads of different shots. Test me out a little bit and hopefully share some things that can help you. So let's go yellow flag. Yellow flag, okay. What club have you got? I've got a 58. Because the greens are uh, pretty slick here, actually. I yeah. could use 52 here, but I can change it up a little bit as well. And just, do you know what? Maybe something to just to ask you, the, the viewers, ask you at home is, can you notice what I'm working on just by a couple of swings? Maybe leave a comment if you notice before mm. I, I go into it. Looks a long way left, but it does break from left to right. Using the contours. Beautiful. Go green flag. Green flag, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> God, you, you, Straight away into give it. Give me a hard one there, Pierce. Downhill, downwind. I didn't see that pitch, Andy. Did it pitch short the green? Short the green, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice shot, shot. though. Nice, nice shot. shot. When it comes to short game, we're so conscious of strike. You know, we're often really worried about impact and maybe avoiding the ground or avoiding the thin shot. So a lot of anxiety, a lot of tension, and we get quite nervy over this. So the thing that I'm working on has completely taken that away and it's enabled me to not think about the strike and focus on something else. Okay, so here's what I'm working on. I really think this could help you when it comes to chipping around the green. So we've talked about the importance of having the club swing at the ground and have the interaction. I'm still aware of that, but that's not my focus. My focus is on the through swing and where I end up. So let's say I'm going to the blue flag down there, which is let's say 40 yards, yep. 35, 40 yards. I'm gonna do a practice swing here, thinking about the pace that I need, but all I'm gonna focus on is where I end up. So this is where I believe I should end up for that distance. So when I come back to the golf ball, all I'm gonna do is see if I can get back to that point. So my attention is past the golf ball and through. And there's two things that I really like about this. The one thing is my focus isn't on the hit or trying to hit the ball or trying to hit down or anything like that. My focus is on just moving through to this point so it takes out a lot of that anxiety, that nervousness, that sort of twitch that we often get when we play in a chip shot. And the second thing that I like about this is that one, biggest, one of the biggest killers of short game shots is speed, too much speed. Now, when we have this rapid acceleration, we see a lot of golfers do this, rapid acceleration. <laughs> That's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> I'm even good at the bad ones. <laughs> the, uh, what we see is that there's no smoothness and there's no, let's say, definite finish because there's too much acceleration and movement going on. So the second reason, as I said, what I really like about this, to get to this deliberate finish, it really helps to have this smooth pace. So it smoothens out the whole pace of the swing, which for us, we love that because most golfers are trying to accelerate because they've been told so much that they're oh, decelerated. Don't decelerate. Well, that's a whole other video. <laughs> but let me play a shot to that one down there, Pierce, and then I'll talk a little bit more about two things that you can think about, and then I'll share the drill. Okay. So you look at the finished position here. Hopefully it's pretty close to where I want it to be. It's about yeah, five feet six, left. six feet left of the hole. I feel that from here, there's no, I'm not even thinking about the ball. The ball's almost just getting in the way of the motion, which I really like. How often do you step up to a chip shot and you're so focused on the ball that everything almost stops at the ball because you're so focused on the hit. And this is what I love about this. It allows me to be passive through the golf ball. Tell you what, Andy, let's actually go to a different spot now. And we'll okay. actually talk more and about the uh, finish that you're actually working at. Okay, so over here? Yeah, anywhere there's fine. Just mix it okay, up. Mix it it's up always a good bit. idea whenever you're practicing your short game to not be in the same place. You know, staying in the same place is not a good thing to do. Here's the two things then. Two things I've talked about, I'm ending up here. But what do I want it to look like? Here's a couple of things. It's probably three things, actually. There are three <laughs> things. Oh, you're getting a bonus one. <laughs> so when I swing through, all I'm focusing on here is making sure, again, depends on the distance to, the, to how much I'm doing this, but I'm gonna go red flag on this one. So now- 25 yards. All I'm thinking about is where I end up. Now, if we just break this down, what have I done? I've turned through to face the target. So my chest now is looking straight down that target. Haven't done this. Lent back, I've turned through and I'm facing that red flag. This is an important thing. The second thing, you can stay there, Pierce. The second thing I'm doing on a normal chip shot like this, off a decent lie, the butt of the club is pointing at the belly button. So from here, 
the club is pointing through the midline of my body. I'm not doing too much of this. That's going to create a lot of shaft lean and dig that leading edge in. I'm really using the bounce and I'm focusing on getting this pointing here. The, the third thing, you may want to come around this side for this mm -hmm. base. This is an interesting one because most people think you need to stay down when chipping. What, we actually, what I'm actually doing, notice I'm standing up tall. So I'm turning and I'm standing up tall. The last thing we want to do is stay down and drive down into the back of the ball. As we stand up, it allows the club to release and it allows us to be a little bit shallower with the club. So three things, turn to face the target, club in the belly button, stand up tall. That's we where I'm going to be. That lesson the other day, guy at the back of the range here, and I was asking him to hold his finish. He says, right, all I want you to do is hold your finish. You play a chip shot. Oh, completely <laughs> forgot, completely forgot. But that tells me that the speed and the attention wasn't there. So let me do another one. Give me another flag, Pierce. Let's go, I'll go the white flag on the left. White That's flag a here. Tricky one. I'm going to come down this view here so you can just see a little bit more. I might open the face a little bit here as well. Okay. A little bit less. Does that change anything when you open the face? Is it still the same thoughts for you in the technique? Exactly the same, yeah. Cool. Exactly the same. Still thinking about where I want to end up. That's yeah, nice. So again, look, I've held the finish. Stay there. And when I evaluate this, I'm turned, facing the target, target, I've stood tall, and this is pointing now at the midline of my body. It's so important that we do this. There's actually one drill. Let me share the drill first. Okay, let's go to the drill. Out. Here's the drill. More on the basic chip shot. All I want you to do, we've talked about a couple of things. We've talked about standing tall, turning to face the target, club in the belly button, yeah? Yeah. So here's a very simple drill. Choke down the golf club, get in your posture, slide it up so it actually touches the belly button. That's a the, belt the shadow and the dark clothing you're wearing there. So it's actually here. touching, yeah? Yeah, touching the belt, literally on the belt buckle. Okay. Here. All I'm going to do from here is I'm going to get the golf club to move up and left. Okay. So up and left. Now, if it moves up and left, I've got to stand up and the club is moving around. I've got to turn the shoulders. But now I've got the this nice connection with the arms and the body. I'm not doing this, which we see a lot of golfers do. All I'm doing here is I'm just turning through up and left. Yeah. This is keeping this unit together and making sure that I've got this nice relationship with the golf club and my body. Really simple drill that you can do. You can do this at home now. Just stand up, bang. I like that. Did you make, the, did you make that up yourself? I did. Did you really? Simple. Wow. So Andy, obviously you mentioned about opening the club face. So obviously we're assuming that you're doing that to stop the ball quicker. What about if you want to go with different trajectories, which is a little bit on that theme. So if you want to either get it going higher or stop yeah. it quicker, or you want to let it run a little bit more, will you do anything different? Give me, give me a shot. Okay, I'll, I'll I think you. that's the best way to do it. Let's go, well, let's go to the blue flag. It's all the way down there. Okay. You've As got a, a couple of options. Well, I want you to do, maybe let's just do both and let's okay. see, where, see how they work. Let me try with a high one first. High then. one first, so just talk us through what you're gonna do. So where I'm landing this, where I'm landing this now, I wanna almost just land it a few feet, maybe a couple of yards short, maybe three or four yards short. Yeah. I'm gonna open the face. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna create a little bit of spin for me as well. But all I'm doing exactly the same now, as I open the face, I'm gonna to need to lengthen the swing. Of course. Because now I need a little bit more speed. So all I'm doing now, adding a little bit of wrist hinge, so back, through, and if you look on the through swing now, the, the only difference now is that I'm creating a little bit more wrist set, set on the way through. I'm not looking for this. I'm allowing this, but I've still turned. Yeah. And I'm still facing the target and I'm still standing tall. The only difference now is I'm just adding in an element of wrist look. So basically you setting the club on the way back and setting the club on the way through, getting the club head pointing higher and higher is gonna make the golf ball go higher. Exactly, yeah. And that's just gonna create the more speed. So let me have a go at this one. There's the height. Oh, yeah, it stopped super quick. Stopped really quick, the, yeah. The thing with this green is it does slope all the way away from you until it gets to that last sort of fifth of the green, I would say, where it's relatively flat or even slightly uphill. But even feedback on that one, I'm like, I'm not even thinking about the ball. Like, no. I don't even see the ball. I'm so focused on this. Yeah. And th that one was so shallow. That was like, there's hardly any turf. The club just sort of grazed along the surface there. Okay. Let's go low then. With a low one, I'm going low and lower loft. Yeah. But if I want to get it a little lower, I want to deal off the club. Yeah. Now, from here, if I want to deal off the club, I want to lean the shaft forward, but I'm not going to be thinking about hitting down. That is just not what I'm going to do. I'm still going to have the same thought, brushing the ground and swinging through, holding the finish. Now, the difference between the two, I'm still turned through. I'm still standing tall. Notice where the butt of the club is pointing now. It's yeah. Going this way. I'm making sure that I'm holding the loft down a little bit. 
I don't really want to release the club as much. I'm going to hold on to these angles a little bit longer so the ball comes out low. That's the only difference. I'm de-lofting the club. So I think you just said a couple of things there, de-lofting it and holding the loft down. That is the difference when playing these shots. So at no point are you looking to hit down to hit it low. No. Again, you'll probably be, I'm, I'm, I'm the same on this. I'm more conscious of getting a brush, a better brush with this shot because if you start digging, you're in trouble. There's a low one, it'll run out. That's probably gonna go a little bit past. Could go in. Let's see if I hold. But if you look at the finish again, guys. Oh, that's nice. Here, that was beautiful, really, really nicely played. I've Same held there. the finish. Look where the butt of the club's pointing to. I, ex I practiced what I wanted, and then I got there. I matched exactly what I wanted. Do me a favor, just so people can see it from this view as well, because I think this is something I would do often with like patio windows, looking at these different through swings. There's the low one. Show me the high one. And then show me the normal one. And you can do this, this feedback, you can just see where the club is pointing in all those different shots. Great feedback for you to practice in front of a mirror. All right, you want a hard shot, give yeah? Me, give me a real tough one. Okay, we'll red on flag top. high. So red, red flag, the it. reason this is high, well, you go wherever you want to as long as it's high. So the red flag is, we've probably got about 25, maybe 30 yards to that flag, but it's at the bottom of a down slope and there's quite a bit of break on it as well, potentially, depending okay. on how he plays this. I'm gonna land this, I'm gonna have to land it just past the black flag. So we've got the black flag there. So you want this high, yeah? Yeah, high to that. I'm going to go this way so we can see it all the way down the line. I'll trust that you're going to hold your finish okay. so we can and come around and have a look at that. The rehearsals are just so important for this, guys. I'm really trying to experience the shot before I've played it. Might be a bit strong, but it might be okay because it's going to, yeah, it's Whoa, good. I'll take it. You'll say that was like five feet past maybe? Not even that, I think four feet. The thing five is, feet. The thing is with that, is if I was short, it would have gone down the slope, yeah. hit that a little hard, but because it landed on the flat, it stopped and again, I'll roll that in. Guys, look, that has been um, a massive help to me. So think about those three things. Think about turning, standing tall, getting the, the butt towards the belly button on those basic ones, but think about holding your finish. If you can hold your finish and just focus on that, it takes all the nervousness away and you know, it's working for me, so hopefully it works for you. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Make sure you leave any comments, questions down below. And look, if you haven't seen our website yet, make sure you head over to meandmygolf.com right here. This is where we have all our coaching plans to help your game. We'd love to see you over there. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.